Today we're going to show you how to make a surface using a very basic layout that I have here. If this was a survey that was done out in the field, they went out and captured a perfect grid of a square piece of property. And what we're going to do is contour the surface to show the elevations of the property. As you can see, all of our existing points have elevations on them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our draw and we're going to shrink wrap entities and we're going to do this to capsulate the areas that we want to use to contain our contours. Select 3D polyline, click OK and then you're just going to highlight the points that we're going to use. Press enter and it's going to draw a border around all of your points. Now that we have our inclusion area that we're going to use for our contours, you're going to come up here and you're going to go to surface and you're going to triangulate and contour that surface. Um, there's a bunch of different settings up here. Um, ignore zero elevations. We almost always want to leave checked unless you're working in areas like uh, Louisiana where you do have some negative elevations uh, and zero elevations. You want to write a triangulation file and you're going to select that file and this one we're just going to call it HAG test one okay as far as your contour options are concerned you can come back in here you can reduce vertices you can smooth all these things you have to play around it to get the contours to look the way you want them to look it really depends on the look you're going for the accuracy you're going for it depends on the project this one here all these contours are going to be straight lines so it's not really going to have an effect on it your labeling it's going to tell you the layer you're going to put your labels on what font type you're going to use and the size and scale of where your labels are going to be and it's going to let you choose what you're going to select in this case we're just going to leave it we can choose our on-screen entities as we go so once we get all of our settings where we want them, you're just going to click OK. It's going to ask us for our inclusion area right here, the area that we want to contain our contours in. At this point, we're going to select that shrink wrap entities boundary that we did earlier, and you're going to press Enter. Now it's going to ask you if there's an exclusion area. When you're going to use that is say I had a building right here in the middle of this, and I want to contour everything around that building, but I don't want the contour lines to go through that building because obviously they're not going to be the same. So you would select that exclusion area to not put contours right there. Now that we have our area inclusion and exclusion area selected, we're going to go ahead and press enter. Now it's going to ask us to select the entities we're going to use. In this case, we're going to use our perimeter, which we used earlier because we did set it as a 3D polyline. So it'll show contours of that 3D polyline and we're going to use all the points. So we're just going to select everything on the screen and that's going to be our point. Simply press enter and it's going to triangulate and draw your contours. Now these triangulation lines that you see on here um, often just clutter the screen. If you had a more complex surface than this, they're going to be all over the place. Simple to get rid of. Go down to your layers control menu. Just turn off try lines and that's gone and now you can see all your contour lines stretched across here you want to clean it up a little bit more so you're just looking at contours you can eliminate your points by turning off your point layers and once you get those turned off you have a good clean boundary with the contour lines that you're looking for uh, I hope this helps everybody and answers some simple questions uh, if you need anything else, you can contact us at Hagen Trammell, and we are here for all your surveying needs.